And now, the Wikipedia article for chair. A chair is a type of seat, typically designed for one person and consisting of one or more legs, a flat or slightly angled seat, and a backrest. They may be made of wood, metal, or synthetic materials, and may be padded or upholstered in various colours and fabrics. Chairs vary in design. An armchair has armrests fixed to the seat. A recliner is upholstered and features a mechanism that lowers the chair's back and raises into place a footrest. A rocking chair has legs fixed to two long curved slats. And a wheelchair has wheels fixed to an axis under the seat. Chair comes from the early 13th century English word chair, from Old French chiere, from Latin cathedra, meaning seat. History of the chair The chair has been used since antiquity, although for many centuries it was a symbolic article of state and dignity, rather than an article for ordinary use. The chair is still used as the emblem of authority in the House of Commons in the United Kingdom and Canada, and in many other settings. In keeping with this historical connotation of the chair as a symbol of authority, committees, boards of directors, and academic departments all have a chairman or chair. Endowed professionships are referred to as chairs. It was not until the 16th century that chairs became common. Until then, people sat on chests, benches, and stools, which were the ordinary seats of everyday life. The number of chairs which have survived from an earlier date is exceedingly limited. Most examples are of ecclesiastical, signorial, or feudal origin. Chairs were existence since at least the early dynastic period of Egypt. They were covered with cloth or leather, were made of carved wood, and were much lower than today's chairs. Chair seats were sometimes only ten inches high. In ancient Egypt, chairs appear to have been of great richness and splendour. Fashioned of ebony and ivory, or of carved and gilded wood, they were covered with costly materials, magnificent patterns, and supported upon representations of the legs of beasts, or the figures of captives. Generally speaking, the higher ranked an individual was, the taller and more sumptuous was the chair he sat on, and the greater the honour. On state occasions, the pharaoh sat on a throne, often with a little footstool in front of it. The average Egyptian family seldom had chairs, and if they did, it was usually only the master of the household who sat on a chair. Among the better off, the chairs might be painted to look like the ornate inlaid and carved chairs of the rich, but the craftsmanship was usually poor. The earliest images of chairs in China are from 6th century Buddhist murals and steel, but the practice of sitting in chairs at that time was rare. It was not until the 12th century that chairs became widespread in China. Scholars disagree on the reasons for the adoption of the chair. The most common theory is that the chair was an outgrowth of indigenous Chinese culture, that it evolved from a camp stool imported from Central Asia that was introduced to China by Christian missionaries in the 17th century and that the chair came to China from India as a form of Buddhist monastic furniture. In modern China, unlike Korea or Japan, it is no longer common to sit at a floor level. In Europe, it was owing in great measure to the Renaissance that the chair ceased to be a privilege of state and became a standard item of furniture for anybody.